how to make a Viofo hardwire cable into an OBD2 cable. That way you can plug it in easily without actually using any of these fuse taps on your vehicle. I'm Ben from Safe Drive Solutions, your dash cam specialist. Now, let's go ahead and explain to you what an OBD2 port is. So what exactly is an OBD2 port? Well, basically the OBD2 provides access to data from the engine control unit and offers a valuable source of information when troubleshooting problems inside a vehicle. So if you're a mechanic inside a shop and your vehicle, you bring your vehicle in to get service and it has a check engine light, typically a mechanic is gonna plug in a special um, programmer into it and it's actually gonna read the codes and tell you the check engine light is a bad fuel sensor or bad TPMS sensor, or there's going to be something along those lines, and it will give that information to them. Now, this OBD2 port is typically dormant. It's not used at all while you're driving. It's only used when a mechanic is working on your vehicle. So don't worry about plugging anything into this port, because typically what ends up happening is if the mechanic has to do any service there, all they're going to do is simply unplug the port and allow it to plug their stuff in. Now, when you do pick your vehicle up, from a mechanic, I would always recommend that your dash camera, checking out if your dash camera powers up because sometimes they may have unplugged it and forgot to plug it in. Either way, this does work. We've done it hundreds of times on hundreds of different vehicles on the market. So let's go ahead and show you how we actually build this harness. So we're gonna start by actually taking the OBD2 cable right out of the box. And we're gonna show you here basically that we're going to dismantle it and then we're going to cut the cable off at about probably about 12 inches down the line. We're going to strip back the sheathing that way it exposes the red, black and yellow wiring. And now we're going to open up the hardwire kit and we're going to strip the black, red and yellow wires. So right here, as you can see, we're stripping the black, red and yellow of the OBD2 and red goes to yellow and yellow goes to red. I know that's gonna sound weird. However, Viofo actually uses different color cabling schematics and the black goes to black, right? So we need to make sure that it's hooked up correctly. Otherwise it's not gonna shut off with ignition and it's not gonna work properly for parking mode. So now that we have all three of these wires connected and you can see they're all stripped and wired. I mean, this is because how we actually do it, we actually solder all our connections. So we're now soldering it with our, our butane soldering iron. We're going to take it, solder it, and we're also going to get our 3M electrical tape. We use, we like to use the Super 33. It's a little bit more expensive than the other electrical tapes on the market, but we do find it the most reliable, especially getting into cold weather. So we're going to tape that all up. That way the uh, cables are not exposed and the connections can't short out at all. And that's it we're gonna have it completely connected and OBD2 cable is now made. So you can see here, we have our Viofo dash camera and we have our OBD2 cable. So basically, where is the OBD2 port? So we're gonna take a look underneath the dash here and as you can see, there is the OBD2 port. So we're gonna actually just take our plug-in and Plug it in and you can see the iRoad actually lights up, saying that there is power to it. We're gonna go start the van. And let's see what happens here when we plug the dash camera in. And there we go. We got power. Recording. One channel started. There you have it. The OBD2 cable by using a Viofo hardwire cable and an iRoad OBD2 cable. So a couple things you need to know. If you do choose to go this way, the average vehicle takes anywhere from one to five minutes to actually go into parking mode. And the reason why this is, is because it's waiting for the computer to go to sleep. So we always recommend that if you are going to do this, after you plug it in, 
make sure that the vehicle goes to sleep and see if the dash camera goes into parking mode or shuts off if you're not actually using hard parking mode at all. You will still obviously also have your full low battery protection intact because the USB-C cable in line has a low battery protection built in. So just a couple of things to keep in mind. If you are looking to get something like this made, please let us know. We do obviously sell the parts and we'd be happy to quote it out for you. Other than that, I'm Ben from Safe Drive Solutions, your dash cam specialists. Cheers.